Bum, 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 bum. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we're going to be talking about the new Rust skins that just dropped on console. But first things first, I'm going to talk to you guys real quick about some things and some changes coming to the console. Obviously we're going to have a quality of life update. That's not going to be anytime soon. I think it's going to come on to the PTB side of things and then but we'll talk about that a little bit more when it comes to it and I'm going to make a video on my predictions of what the quality of lives are going to be which I'm actually super excited about as well as like other things that are going to be coming to Rust console um the near future. Uh, today we got a lot of skins and really good skin sets. Now I'm showing you guys the old skins that I have on my main characters. You can see OG skins. I don't really spend too much money on skins, you know. If they glow at night, it's fair game. But we're going to talk about this new thing that I haven't seen until today. Um, it's actually considered a special edition. I mean, I've seen special editions before. But this is the first one that I've seen that, like, you can't really buy the thing separately. You have to buy the thing in the bulk. So now, obviously, you're going to have the bandana. You know, we all like to wear our bandanas when we're out in the ocean. We get a lot of these in the barrels. The witch mouth, I guess you could call it, um, at night doesn't really glow, so you don't have to worry about, like, you standing out at night when you're incognito. I really like the jackhammer skin, because jackhammer, I don't know about you guys, but jackhammer is something that I use a lot. I tend not to use a lot of the stone tools. I tend to try to grab as much as, like, 150 scrap and then just go and go ham on this and get tons of stone. And then from there, exchange the stone and outposts for wood. And I don't really farm wood because my experience of chopping trees are not the best. And then we go over here to the stone spear. I'm not really, I don't really craft spears as often as I should. But the fact that you have a witch broom, I feel like the witch broom should have been the paddle. I feel like this skin as a paddle would have been a nice one. But, I mean, it's there if you guys are interested in it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be picking up this skins. And then the boonie hat for the witch hat. I don't think I'm going to be picking it up. But, I mean, four skins for 1,500 RC. That's a little bit exp in the expensive side, in my opinion. But, you know, for four skins, that I don't I don't think that's a big bang for your buck. And then we have a returning one, which is the demonic side. You know, you're going to have your good old gloves, the road sign gloves. Um, road signs now says we could harvest road signs. Um, with like, you know, just regular harvesting materials or I should say tools. Now road sign armor is actually super easy to get. Um, for those of us that are solo players, I mean, it looks good. It's, it's Halloween theme, you know, you're going to be on fire. Um, you probably will shine at night. So be sure that if you're running around at night, you're definitely going to be glowing. So be mindful of that. You know, you're going to be this giant ladybug all right not even ladybug <laughs> freaking firefly i should say on the nighttime so if you're flying solo this might not be the armor you want to wear and wear it does look cool but it's up to you if you want to be risky now for the actual skin packs that i'm actually really digging this round let's start off with the deployables now boxes anything to do with boxes just as like jay says i love and myself i do love it does look like this glows at night and i really like boxes that glow at night because it, it it looks beautiful on your on your base you know you have the little witch you have the little black cat going on here i really like this box and the fact that you could buy it by itself it's amazing i like buying boxes if I, even if i don't buy the skin set itself if the box glows i'm gonna purchase it you know now, we're going to have the other one, the rollers, the roller big boy. It's the witch. It really looks nice. It almost looks like the um, like the rust dude on the hazmat, but it's a witch. I like the fact that it glows at night, as you can see. So for inner bases, might be something you want to pick up. The armor door, I'm not really a fan of the armor door. It just kind of seems like they copied and pasted the roller door, you know, and they just slapped it on it. I mean... It, it looks practically the same just like it's like this is a youtube video and this became a tiktok you know what i'm saying just me who knows now the double armor door i'm really digging it i really like the what is this, is this like i don't even know is this supposed to be like a magician a warlock the double door it looks nice double doors we love as we know especially armor double doors 
and then we have the jack-o-lantern here for the regular metal sheet door usually i don't use noble metal door i would usually just use the roller and then go from there now this door i do like a lot i really like the pumpkin the jack-o-lantern um metal sheet door and i like the fact that most of this stuff glow at night as you can see i really like this door so for me i would say if i have the money i would pick up specifically me and my taste i would pick up the metal sheet door and i would pick up the regular uh box and then if i have the spare i would probably pick up the garage door because you can never have too many garage door skins you know maybe you feel like a witch today maybe you feel like something else the next day now for the second one the gothic skeleton um i'm gonna tell you straight off the bat i'm not a fan of having skins on tools because i feel like i lose tools faster than i lose lives you know um that's just the thing of it you know so if you like tools you're more than welcome to i don't really craft tools i tend to like just find these items i mean if you could always reskin them on the workbench not workbench sorry on the repair bench um you could always do that i do like the gothic jackhammer remember jackhammer is a tool that i use a lot and frequently i like it uh i honestly i mean it looks nice i still prefer the the witch one this one i really like this one i wish i could just purchase it without having to purchase the whole bundle but i digress now the hammer hammer skins i adore the reason why is because you're always using the hammers for base building you're always out there with the hammer heck i always run around with the hammer because you never know when you're gonna find a decaying base and you could just pick stuff up with it so i really like hammer skins 10 out of 10 i really like this one it looks like i don't know you know it'd be cool if they make a thorns like hammer skin that would be nice but I really like this one. It's like the, um, I guess like a pirate theme because it has like the little like ruby on there on the uh, skull eye. It looks nice. And then finally, the satchel. Any satchel skin I could get my hands on, dude, I will do it because satchels are one of those things that you use a lot aside from like C4. And satchels is just anything. I, I picked up the skin, um the satchel skin. I don't know if it was on, on this character, but I picked up the satchel skin for like, I don't think it was on this one. No, it wasn't on this one. It was on another character. But, dude, it looks gorgeous. Like, the satchel, like, being it, I think it was, like, a candy cane. And it's, like, you're bringing, like, a cake to people. It, I really like that skin a lot. So, in my opinion, the skins, in my opinion, that are worth it are the satchel skin, the hammer, the box, and the metal sheet door. Obviously, if you're buying more than three... If you're buying more than three in the bundle, you might as well just buy the bundle. It will come out to be a lot cheaper. So I'm buying like two in each, basically. As for the demonic scout, um, I already have enough like metal sheets. I don't think I'm going to go with this. And as for the wicked special, it looks nice. I'm not going to say it is. If you have the spare R, you know, if you have the spare RC, go ahead. I'm going to save my RC for like other things, like especially when you have the special things. Like a special item we just had recently was the, the box. That was really nice. I'm not digging the, the Succubus double metal door. I like boxes better, as you've seen. Um, and again, it's a double door. I don't really use them a lot. So that's just my opinion. As for the table, this kind of looks nice. I, I can see this for Zerx. So I don't really use tables that often. Um, so it's not really my cup of tea. But I mean, it's there. And I really like this. I mean, this is not to say that this this set of rotation of skins it's the best I've seen so far. Usually they just refurnish or they just bring back like old skins, but this time around they gave us like what is it like three new packs, and then one returning one, which is really nice. And the returning one is not bad looking. It's really nice looking. I might pick one up on one of my other characters that doesn't have like a lot of skins. I tend to like rotate characters and just have different skins on them. That's just kind of me. Um, that way, whenever character I'm playing on, so the stream snipers can stay away, are nicer, you know? And everybody, and then it's like I play with different skins every time instead of just having one guy with like a million skins. Now, those have been my picks for today. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoy. And I hope to see you guys in the Rust world.
I tried to sound epic, but it sounded so bad and cringy. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the skins. And just let me know down in the comments below. Which ones do you prefer? Which ones do you like better? Are you are you picking the same ones that I'm picking? Are you the same taste that I have with this beautiful... I really like this metal door. I really dig it. I'm not going to lie to you. I really dig this door. But we're going to leave it off on that. Thank you, guys. And I'll 